Hi, I'm Bob. Today, I will talk about the binary explanatory variable. A binary variable takes only two values, 0 and 1. It is also called the dummy variable or the indicator variable. For example, the variable gender is a binary variable. It's equal to 0 if the individual is male, and it's 1 if the individual is female. The name of the variable doesn't matter. It matters how you define the variable. Sometimes we see the variable female. It is the same binary variable as gender if it is defined as follows. Binary variables are a special case of categorical variables. A categorical variable can take on more than two values. For example, the variable region is a categorical variable. It has four values, from one to four. Each value represents a category of the geographic region. The binary variable has only two categories, while the categorical variable can divide the data into more than two groups. We often deal with binary and categorical variables. For example, the dataset I use for this course is from the PSID survey. Survey data usually contain the demographic characteristics of the respondents. Many of them are binary or categorical variables. In this survey dataset, we find binary variables like gender. Another binary variable is two-parent family. It is equal to one if the worker grew up in a two-parent family during her 16 years of childhood. It is zero otherwise. We find the variable region a categorical variable. Four categories represent four regions in which the respondents lived in 2017 at the time of the interview. The variable race is another categorical variable. It takes on three values, one, two, and three, corresponding to white, African-American, and others. In Stata, we use the command tabulate to obtain the frequency and percentage of each category. The other variables in this dataset are continuous variables, such as age, hourly wage, and work hours. Next. Let me show you the interpretation of the slow parameter in the context of a binary explanatory variable. I start with the population model y equals beta 0 plus beta 1 times x plus mu.
the population average of y conditional on x is a linear function of x because of the zero conditional mean assumption. Since x only takes on two values, when it is zero, the expectation of y is beta zero. When x is one, the expectation of y is beta zero plus beta one. Beta one equals the difference between the two expectations. So beta one is the difference in the outcome variable y between the two groups of individuals. One group has its explanatory variable x equal to zero, such as male workers. The other group's explanatory variable x equals one, such as female workers. The binary variable divides the entire population into two groups. The beta one is the difference in y between them. For example, if we want to know whether the workers who grew up in a two-parent family earn more in adulthood than their counterparts raised by separated parents, the binary variable two-parent family indicates whether the worker grew up in a two-parent family during her 16 years of childhood. We can regress the log hourly wage on this binary variable. The OLS estimate beta 1 hat is 0 0.38. It suggests that workers who grew up in intact families earn 38% more than workers reared in separated households on average. The estimate is the average difference in the earnings between these two groups of people. But it is not necessarily the causal effect of growing up in a two-parent family on the adult child's earnings, because there could be many other factors in the average term that affect hourly wage are also correlated with the childhood family structure. The OLS estimate will be biased if the zero conditional mean assumption fails. When the explanatory variable is binary, we should avoid the dummy variable trap. A dummy variable trap arises when the two dummy variables are perfectly collinear. For example, in our model, the sample workers are either male or female. We can construct a binary female variable and a binary male variable. When we regress the log hourly wage on the binary variable female, we find that the estimated coefficient is minus 0 0.14, implying that female workers earn 14% less than male workers on average. But again, it does not necessarily measure wage discrimination because Many factors that affect wages, such as education levels, could differ by gender. Including both binary variables, female and male, will result in the dummy variable trap. Stata will automatically correct it. We could not include both in the model because it will lead to perfect collinearity. Male plus female equals 1, which means male is a perfect linear function of female. The two dummies describe the same feature of the sample. We should only use one in the model to avoid the dummy variable trap. The above is how we use 
binary explanatory variable in the simple regression model. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time.